Hi everyone, and welcome to a reading for Leo. No, oh, sorry, excuse me, Virgo. You might be dealing with a Leo. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, Virgo. Okay, so I did a quick shuffle with the Neo Tarot, and this is what popped out, so let's have a look. <clears throat> Bam. You're certainly starting to see things from a different perspective. It's actually end up happening you putting yourself in a very uncomfortable position or you might have put yourself in this position so many times that maybe you don't feel that uncomfortable having to turn your world upside down to see things from a different perspective. Your whole world does need to shift because you want happiness. You're looking directly at it. You want a freedom. You want a, freedom, a feeling of movement, flight, joy time to spend in the sun so yeah maybe you don't even feel like you have time to even spend in the sun literally you know you've also got to a point here where you've decided that you've thought about it long enough you've got your inspiration back and your inspiration could have come to you at night, yes. But you could be deciding to leave at night. Or not do what you used to do at night. Whatever that is. Because it was affecting your funds in some way. It was affecting your stability. And now you're actually deciding that you want stability in your life. And you want to feel the sun. You want to feel happiness. All right, there we go. You've done this a few times. You've had your inspiration taken from you. You got really inspired and really rolled up and started to move forward, but you either ended up with a period of sickness or other people's words really getting you down. Could have been things that people said to you in the past, like the old movies that we played ourselves, you know, things that we hear in our childhood. You know, my dad was a big one of telling me I'd never amount to anything without him. You know? To get yourself back on track, you're realising you're actually going to have to rely more on your intuition and the outside world. You're also going to have to learn to say no. Less of the people pleasing. You're searching for a piece of maturity. You want to have control over your environment, not your environment can control over you. And it could have come from a relationship here, could have been with anybody. That really had you feeling like you were completely out of control and this had you had going, completely feeling like you had to turn your world upside down to figure out what's going on. We'll see. Deck seemed to have given us the information we needed. The best way to do this is to actually get a really good spiritual foundation. And I think in the past you actually felt like you had a really good foundation. But it's been rocked a bit. 
you've ended up having to sacrifice things in your life that you thought you'd probably never have to and it could literally have been your home and stability. You could at times literally feel like the world's on your shoulders, particularly as you were going through the spiritual growth. The awakening was a very enlightening experience, but also a very heavy burden to carry. When we go through an enlightenment, we also end up going through a period of the shadow as well, looking at our darkness. If there can be such light, how can there be such darkness? But everything is duality in this world. There is a night and a, a day. There is good and evil in this world. So I think that's where we end up falling into the dark night of the soul because our enlightenment comes from a, such a high spiritual place that this world doesn't exactly measure up to it. We have to do all the daily grind. We have to have the house, pay the bills, you know, as society expects, get a partner, have children, whatever the societal expectations is. And the spiritual growth, I think, the enlightenment and, and the thing was seemed to have come in like a, it, it, it didn't mesh. There was seemed to be a duality and the reconciling of that, the bringing the two sides together again to bring spirituality, high spirituality into this daily grind of a mire of the matrix here is basically when each of us do that, we're raising the vibration of the collective. This world will keep on throwing stuff at us on the daily, on the daily. It's just a matter of keeping our vibe high. Keeping yourself self in the depths of the waters, remembering too, remembering the deep, dark depths that you've just come from too as you ascend. It's like a, a whale or something sort of coming out of the water. So that's what I sort of, <laughs> sort of see. So it comes up and does its dance and then it goes back down into the waters. So don't be afraid of that deep dive either. And I think you'll get most of your lessons from the people around you, that is for sure. That's our hardest test. Trying to keep our vibe as high and as positive as we possibly can whilst dealing with others in this world. I'll get to see what Louise's Hayes... How to love yourself cards. I've got. <laughs> uh, wait a second. She has a lot to say. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Uh, still too. I rejoice in my creative energy. I choose a bright future. Now, fun. Uplifting ideas now flow through my consciousness and I follow through on my ideas received, bringing them into manifestation. Yes. To build on your dreams, whatever dreams you might have. You need a grounding in this world, but you also need a, a grounding in the spiritual. By keeping your vibes high, so get the inspiration going because you, there is a bright future open for you. Beautiful Virgos. The moment I start to change, the moment I am willing to bring good into my life, the universe responds in kind. Yes. All right. We'll see what else we've got. Yes, each each day, each thought's a choice. But choosing to see exactly.
exactly what is happening around you. But seeing things from a different perspective by taking some time out. Moving away from all those issues. Let those issues deal with themselves. Start to focus on yourself. Getting your stability, your grounding, your finances, basic money, bills, basic bills paid. You'll feel like you've got the reins again by doing that. What was your dream? What is to you foundation? Call on your higher self. Realise, oops, by getting the reins, making a mess, aren't I? <laughs> and acknowledging what you've been through, acknowledging the lessons you've had to go through, the sacrifices you've had to go through. And honouring spirit and honouring yourself for that journey. But by keeping yourself stuck in these negative ruminations about what happened in the past, keeps you stuck, drawn into it. It's now time to lift your vibe higher. You need to think of uplifting ideas that flow through your consciousness. Are you aware of any uplifting ideas that flow through your consciousness? Maybe a, a quick thought, you know. Bring them into manifestation because it will bring you a much brighter future. The one you're looking for. And the moment you start to change, the moment you are willing to bring good into your life, the universe does start to respond. Any more advice for Virgo, please? Thank you. It's now time to listen to higher source, not the rules and regs and what other people are trying to tell you around you. What's your happiness? What's source, your intuition, trying to tell you? Choose the best thing for yourself. It's no time to be listening to others. I mean... You may seek guidance, but I see this centre hierophant here as more of your energy. It's now time for you to impart your energy, to, to draw your energy back. And in time, people will come to you to seek the guidance of how you got out of the matrix, how you got out of the mire, how you stabilised your life, got your foundations sorted out. Any more advice for Virgo? It's really important to stop and have some fun and be thankful and spend time, I think, because this was one of the first ones that came out. Spend time doing innocent fun. Look at this ladies in leotards, you know, maybe go to a, a yoga class or a Pilates or a dance class to bring joy, bring it back from what you remember from childhood, to get it out of your body. Any more advice? Now, if that's too much, watch one on YouTube and, you know, or put some music on and jump around your house while no one's watching. <laughs> I do that all the time. <laughs> it's great. So therapeutic. Because <laughs> you're rather calling judgment on a relationship here and saying, right, I'm going to spend, we need to get the foundation going here. We need to actually get the, the base going and we need to come, both of us, from the same place. Or you're getting... You're balancing the masculine and feminine sides of you. Everyone around you literally could start to see, like you could literally look like you are being 
born again. Maybe you are being born again into a religion or just into a new life altogether. Because the stability that you desperately want is already yours. As a Virgo, it's your birthright to have abundance and stability. It is absolutely your birthright. So the way you will regain this if you feel like it's been lost, you feel like you're not getting a control of the foundation, the joy has been lost, there's no more fun, is to bring balance back into your life. Remember the joy and fun if you've been working too darn hard on getting, you know, paying the bills and looking after the house. But good, innocent fun. Sitting in the sun. Some gentle exercise. You know, nothing that ends up bringing more stress to your world. A relaxing time. When you're in your energy, abundance and balance is drawn to you and radiates from you. So it's now time the universe is saying to bring balance back into your life. You rejoice in your creative energy, fun, uplifting ideas flow through your consciousness and flow through, um, on the, oh, sorry, and I flow through on the ideas received. I follow through. <laughs> sorry, Virgo. Now that, isn't that interesting? It probably drives you crazy because I, I read it wrong twice. <laughs> so it's okay to make mistakes too. It's okay. Don't beat yourself up about it. Don't, don't be judge, jury and executioner on yourself saying, and you know, if only I'd, if I just want this and if only I'd got more organised on that and da, da, da. No, no, don't let the inner critic, don't let the inner critic take control of this scenario. You have the solution in your hands. And the universe is basically saying, remember joy and to lighten up it just a little bit, just to, in, you know, as I said, have a cup of tea and really enjoy the cup of tea. Take that moment out. Get back to the foundations. All right. I really hope that helped. I love you all and bye for now.